Hi guys, it's me. Um, sorry, still haven't gotten the tutorial up. I swear, with each day that passes, I get more and more angry at my oldest niece's father. Just a lot of crap. <laughs> to put it nicely, going down with him lately. Not happy. But anyway, <clears throat> this month's Ipsy Bag came in. And I have to admit, this is the biggest letdown bag that I've gotten from them so far. All the others I've absolutely loved, but this one I wasn't too impressed with. I've already taken a peek inside. But I also did just a little bit of retail therapy. <laughs> I swear this whole anger thing with, you know, my oldest niece's father is not beneficial to my wallet. <laughs> Or my bank account, for that matter. But anyway, <clears throat> I picked up just a couple things I needed and then a couple things I wanted. So I've got those in addition to this month's Ipsy bag. I will go through those first and go through the Ipsy bag last. First, just in case anyone's wondering, because I do have such long hair, if anyone wonders what shampoo and conditioner I use, I had to pick up more of the conditioner. I go through the conditioner like crazy. But what I use is Herbal Essences Long-Term Relationship. I absolutely love this shampoo and conditioner. Um, <clears throat> let's see, it's got keratin in it. Ten times the keratin of a regular shampoo. Most shampoos don't even have keratin. Um, <clears throat> let's see, this one has pomegranate pomegranate essences. It smells really good. It's a really pretty pinky color, but I swear by this. Ever since I've been using this, my hair doesn't break nearly as much as it used to. But just to give it, you know, that added boost of strength to my hair, I'll also use the Argan Oil of Morocco in shower oil. I'll put some of that in with the conditioner as well as the shampoo, you know, just to kind of help nourish my hair a little bit. And I'm actually going to try this, where I absolutely love that oil. This is actually a leave-in, and it's the Weightless Healing Dry Oil. And it also is the Argan Oil of Morocco. <clears throat> and it pretty much helps men split ends and tames flyaways. As you can see, I have lots of little flyaways everywhere you look. I have tons of these things. So I'm hoping this will help tame some of those. And with this, it says that you actually want to blow dry your hair to help infuse it into your hair shaft. So I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you know what I think. And I have a feeling I'm going to love this stuff because I love the end shower oil. <clears throat> a couple other things I picked up. Some more of those little necklaces. Not that I need more statement jewelry, but I'm buying it anyway. <laughs> this one is a gold set, but the bottom necklace, as usual, is the one I fell in love with. But I thought this was actually really, really pretty. I absolutely loved it. And where it has these kind of like little corally gems, and they're actually kind of opalescent opalescent. They're not, you know, completely see-through, but they're not completely solid either. So, you can actually kind of somewhat see through them, but not entirely. But the little turquoise gems compared with those, I think it's a nice, pretty little contrast. It's very bohemian, very Aztec, maybe. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. And I love the chain on this one. I'm not much on the pendant. It's not bad, but it's just not my personal favorite. But I love this flat chain that it's on. Super pretty. I'll have to look up and see what that kind of chain's called, because I can't remember for the life of me right now. <clears throat> and those are, of course, $7. And then I picked up this ginormous. I'm pretty sure if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen my little rose statement necklaces where the roses are like this big. This one is actually like double the size and it's got five of them on it. I thought this was just absolutely amazing. 
They had it in gold as well, but again, I prefer silver. Plus also, I just think it makes the clear gems just look more crystally. I thought it was really pretty. And it's got the little rhinestones in the center. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But they look like wild roses. They're absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with this thing. I had to have it. And it was only five. And they've got it in a whole myriad of colors. I found them at Walmart. I want to say they had at least a dozen colors. So I'll probably be going back and getting some more of them. Now we can move on to Ipsy. This bag right here. And they called this one the Jet Setter Bag. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they didn't have any product pricing or anything. <clears throat> You'll see why I said this one was the biggest disappointment. It's still not a bad bag, but it's just not my favorite one so far. There was this Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipstick, but it's a sample. And it's a gloss, excuse me, high color gloss. However, it did come with their high color lip gloss Glide On Lip Pencil which is actually a decent size. But these little samples over here, they're pretty colors and everything, but I was just, I wish they were a full size, or at least a travel size, not these little samples. But the colors are really pretty. This one is called Bittersweet, and this one is called Fail Bait. And let's see, they have what looks like 16, no, 12 shades, excuse me. <clears throat> so, I look forward to trying those. I just wish it would have been, you know, like at least a travel size product, not a sample. But I do know Urban Decay is a bit pricier, so that's probably why they didn't go with a travel size or anything. This first, or next, should I say, and this one is the Chella Hello Beautiful Eyes Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color just a little brow pencil. This thing is super skinny. It's kind of like that one eyeliner that came with one of those palettes I got at Five Below recently. But check out how tiny this little tip is. That's going to be perfect for brows. And let's swatch it just a little bit. It's actually really nice. I think that's going to work well for my brow color, actually. And why in the hell did I just scrape my hand? Oh well, don't know. <laughs> Moving on. But yeah, I kind of like it. I think it's going to work well. Next thing, I didn't have a problem with this either. This is the Jessie's Girl Pure Pigment Eye Dust in Brown Sugar. Take the cap off so you can kind of see the color a little bit better. It's just a loose powder. And it's kind of a brown with a slight orange hue to it. Seems like it's like a dark terracotta maybe. I don't really want to peel that little sticker off so I can swatch it so I'll have to let you know what I think of it and show you a swatch it some other time. Just because I don't want to take any longer than I have to tonight. Um, next we had this which is a Nux Paris and it is, let's see, yeah, and it's a face cleansing and makeup removing gel. And it's supposed to soothe and soften the skin. It's kind of like a little travel size. Let's see. Morning and or night, work up into a lather, then rinse. Avoid contact with the eyes. Very basic instructions. Nothing special. It's full to about right here where my finger it fingernail is. So it's actually a decent amount of product. So I look forward to trying it. See what it smells like if it has any fragrance at all. I'm curious. It doesn't smell too bad. Kind of reminds me of the argan oil. Or maybe I'm just smelling the argan oil lotion on my hands. No. I'm smelling that. This is a little bit sweeter. 
And then lastly is the Organic Farm Style Me Roots to Ends Hair Oil. Which I look forward to trying it, but you know, I'm just, I'm not overly much into hair products. I've got a few, but I don't have many. <clears throat> and it comes in a little dropper bottle. Let's see, for all, all hair types, argan oil and pumpkin oil. Let's see, reduce frizz and control curls, lightweight and nourishing. Massage into your hair from roots to ends. Can be applied to damp hair for better definition or to dry hair for more shine. That sounds kind of interesting, but with my hair, it's probably going to take about half the bottle. <laughs> Maybe a third. But it's full to about here. I'm guessing it's probably a travel size. I don't think it's full size. Um, let's see. And you can actually find this on balancedguru.com. So if I actually like this, I'll have to post a link later on underneath this video. But as for now, it's up in the air, so I won't post a link just yet. But yeah, they just, they didn't send, but just two makeup products this month, which was, well, three, but two of them, one of them was, you know, two little small samples. So that was kind of a letdown. So, this isn't my favorite bag, but it's not a bad bag. So... Yeah, it's just kind of a lackluster bag this month, at least in my opinion, but I do look forward to trying out some of the stuff. <sighs> anyway, I think that wraps it up for that, and in case you're wondering what's behind me, those are my Isis wings. I'm actually trying to get some of the wrinkles out <laughs> in case I end up using them this coming weekend since I'm going to Scarborough. Tui. Scarborough Renaissance Festival in Waxahachie, Texas. So if by chance you're going to be there, by all means keep an eye out for me. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear black or turquoise for my costume, but I know I'm going to be wearing one of the two. I'll have to post on Instagram on which one I choose, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> pardon me. This dry air in here is killing me. But anyway, if you're going to be in Scarborough, by all means, come up and say hi. I gladly give hugs, no problem. And until next time, if you haven't already, hit the button down below and subscribe. I'd love to have you tune in. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, especially Instagram. I can't say that enough. But anyway, until the next video, which hopefully I'll be in the mood to do a tutorial with. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.